Max. Since when did you become such an avid reader? Well, since you took over the bookstore, when you stopped working at the soda shop, I lost three pounds. Margo, would you like to go to the movies sometime? I don't want you to spend your money on me. It would be cheaper than buying all these books. Hi, Billy. Margo, sorry, it took me a while to make it in. I thought it might. How are things with Daddy? He's doing better. It's strange. We both swear we can hear her call out to us sometimes. How are you doing? I started writing again. And that brings me comfort. A thesaurus. Are you writing now? No. Max just returned it. He thought it was a book about dinosaurs. Oh, and Billy. I read the story you sent me. Oh, I've been wondering about that. What do you think? Well, it started out great, but... Oh. Then it got better and better. <laughs> it did? Billy, you've grown up and so has your writing. Now, I caught a few typos and I've retyped it on Heavy Bond. In fact, I've retyped them all. Thank you. Thank you. Margo, I've been thinking. What if... What if I submitted some of these stories to the Asheville Southern Journal? Oh, Billy, yes, yes. You were always so tentative about it. What made you decide that? I'm ready for my life to begin. I'm ready for it all to start. My heart's about to bust. Don't lead the way. I must follow my own bright star. Edna, we still have that special delivery stamp I've been saving. We sure do. I'm not mailing them, Margo. I'm going to hand carry them to Asheville and sleep like a dog on their doorstep until I get published. Good luck, Billy. For what it's worth, I'll miss you. I gave Miss Murphy one of my humor pieces. Oh, great, Daryl. What'd she say? She said she really liked it, and could I turn it into a humor piece? Well, look who walked in. Does he know this place sells intoxicating beverages? I say he's lonely. Let's find out. Well, boy meets girl. This calls for a slow gin fizz. It does? It does. <laughs> I'll have one. Have you had one before? I've seen photos. So, you lonely since you've been here? Every evening I have a date with my typewriter. <laughs> That's not company. This is what a real person feels like, in case you forgot. That does feel real. There's more where that came from. Don't drink them both, Lucy. Here you are. Well, what do you think? It's sweet and tart at the same time. Just like Lucy. It's called a slow gin fizz, but you don't have to drink it slow. You are a modern woman, Lucy. A bit. You want to be a writer? Better than that. I want to be a censor. A censor? Why a censor? When I was 12, I gave my father a Raymond Chandler mystery novel. I was watching him read it, and suddenly his face went the color of a rose. He set that book face down and called for my mother and took her into another part of the house and just shut the door. I went over to the book to see what he had just read, and right there, in the middle of the page, was the word brazier. And I thought, this must never happen again. So now, a few nights a week, I take a manuscript home, fix myself a Manhattan, and 
search for hidden erotic content. Would you like to do that with me sometime? Well... Well? What? You got a girl back home? Well, no. I, I don't know. <laughs> well, don't bring her to Asheville. Why not? Because country girls flatten under the city lights. <laughs> Another round! Really? You heard the lady. Oh, lady? Not on a Friday night. All week long, I'm up to